Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video Truder. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where you join me here on the Groundbreaker, the grand colony ship that first came to the Halcyon system. And uh, we've got a lot to do here. Phineas wants me to meet up with someone who can smuggle me onto another world. Max wants me to steal a security tape so we can track down a translator for his book. The terminal in my room pointed me towards a pub called The Lost Hope where I might be able to speak to someone called Edom who might actually be able to, yeah, tell me a bit more about Phineas. And Parvati wants to meet the chief engineer. So naturally we're doing what Parvati wants first because Parvati is the best. But first, you know, while we're passing through, may as well listen out for any useful bits of uh, world building. We know this place is, yeah, neutral ground for all the corporations, so uh, we might be able to learn a lot about the major factions in this game while we're here. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get to with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Alright, so, corporate troopers who run basically everything on the capital, Byzantium, and the Mardets who are running the business here. That's not a name, that's your faction, isn't it? Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Yeah, but you, my good man, Felix, you just had a flipping name. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Yeah, actually, and was vaguely planning to, you know, steal anything that wasn't nailed down, diddly diddly dee. And yeah, you apparently were attacking corporate salts. I like people who attack the corporate salts. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Aha, you were trying to play them off against each other, gotcha. Was that actually your plan, or was this just like, an accident or something? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like, yeah, toss ball teams. Which seems to be some sort of like rugby American football sort of thing, I'm not sure. But yeah, they've got teams and these are presumably like casual teams because that's what lots of the blunt weapons we've come across down the planet actually are. They're toss ball equipment. So uh, yeah, I'm guessing you didn't actually resolve your differences like adults. That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Right, so by any chance, are you looking for, like, say, a team of smugglers to join up with because you happen to have some incredibly useful skills? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Kind of by process of elimination, yeah. So, I'm the Captain of the Unreliable. Sure, that's a good way to introduce myself. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Alright, he's being nice and polite. I like that. I'm John. Introduce yourself, please. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay, he's actually very polite, and I'm guessing he's going to show up in a quest later, at which point we'll probably recruit him. See you around, boss. Alright, see you later, companion number three. Also, whatever a Steve door is, there's a bunch of them around here. They just seem to be, yeah, dock workers. So I'm guessing that's what Felix used to be before he, you know, decided to smash his supervisor in the face with a big stick. Alright, so nothing much around here. I can see over there, there's customs. Presumably this is like Docking Bay 13 or something. Can I but notice around the side over here though? Yeah, we've got ourselves... Hello, are you walking away from the restricted access door? Is that what you're doing right now? Would you like to just, yeah, walk around the corner? Because I'd be very happy to just crack this open. I mean, that's 400 XP if nothing else. Alright, no need to go in there just this second. What am I actually breaking into? Let's know what I'm breaking into first, because... Uh, could I maybe... Yeah. 
bypass <laughs> customs. I'm guessing there's restrictions on what I can and can't bring in here. You know what? While we've got a minute, may as well just, you know, have a little nose inside. That's probably not a crime. And also, yeah, there's a ladder right here. That gets me up top. What's the point of being a ha? I see stairs. Okay. I see potentially a very good way to bypass customs if that's what I choose to do. Okay, so restricted access. Authorised personnel. Problem is, yeah, I don't know which of these dots on my compass are beyond the building on the far side versus... Oh, well, one of them's definitely right here. Okay, I'm definitely not supposed to be going in here. But as far as I can tell, there's not much going on. You know what? Let's speak to customs. Let's figure out if it's even worth me causing trouble because uh, there might be no reason to cause trouble. Also, by any chance, is this the security office? And if it is... Uh, is this where... Hang on. Yeah, the empty man. Vicar Max. Yeah, I thought so. That terminal is right here. So you, my good man, want me to sneak in here and grab... Uh, yeah, a tape. But I know for a fact there's some people in here. And I don't want to kill them. Alright, I don't know much about the Mardets yet, but murdering one of them inside their security office, bad way to kick things off. And yes, game, I'm aware this is a restricted area. That's why I'm actually going in. So you can either fight, sneak, or use the holographic shroud. And, okay. Let's just check if I've by any chance got any data around here. I can... Aha! Mardet ID cartridge. Well, that's precisely what I needed. So at this point, I've now got a disguise active immediately. So I've got temporary access to a restricted area, moving drains the energy, when it runs out, personnel will see you and interrogate you, but I can talk my way out of that interrogation, but they'll get progressively more difficult. Okay, interesting. So yeah, if I move, that burns that. And let's just steal a second one, and steal, oh, do you know where I am, by the way? Yeah, you're right there. Okay, let's just... Very quickly check. Oh, there's so many people. There's so many flipping people. What we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, you guys aren't actually... No, you are disguised. Well, kind of. I mean, you're wearing the right armor. So that's it's kind of disguised, I guess. I'm going to wait for this person. Because, yeah, I can see that to walk away. Because now you go down on your knees right there. All right. And now you guys are all facing away. And now I've got... Wait, what? There's, wait, what? I thought there was... Wait, where's the thing? Where's the thing I'm after? Ah, hang on. I think, yeah, if I go up to the next floor, I can see the plan more clearly. So I need to go through and then take a left and then double back on myself. And this room over here, I think, is like the server room or something. Gotcha. Well, while we're passing through and stealing everything, we may as well steal literally everything. That's just a plasma rifle. Got one of them already. Also, hang on. If I leave this area and then go back in, have I reset my thing? Yes, I have. So I've reset my thing. Okay, so now, now what I want to do is just go around the back of you. Go through here. And then, okay, now I see where I'm going. So now we just take the left here. Loop back round on myself. You guys are facing away. So three seconds. Should be plenty of time. In. Open. And grab thing. Beautiful. Okay, security terminal here. This is probably pretty darn useful. So, Brawl at the Lost Hope. Freelancers versus board. So, okay. There is definitely a bit of tension between certain factions here. Hawthorne ship impounded by order of Udon Bedford. Problem is, was that just now? Or was that like the last time he was passing through when they met each other? So possibly that was, yeah, last time he was passing through and they met each other when there was like the notes that I've seen on my terminal when Udom started trying to write to that guy. Gotcha. Yes, actually, he said, oh, my fat fingers, so sorry about that. It was to arrange a meeting between the two of them. So that's not present. That's just how it was before. And then, guy from back base roughed up a moon kid. Raving mad, warned me the moon was going to bring about the end times. Right, so the moon's going to bring about the end times. That's probably what the game's ultimately about. Gotcha. And someone called McCred was spotted at the resting go, which is a place that McCred is presumably not supposed to be. 
Gladys, that's who I'm meeting for Phineas, so keep an eye on all of that. Detained a freelancer who was cagey about his business, confiscated personal belongings. Right, there's a bunch of stuff there that I've already stolen, but apparently there's like a good pistol. Though, uh, yeah, the jock modified pistol, I've already got one of them, so that's absolutely fine. So, locked container. I'm guessing that's in the area where what's -a face was kneeling down, so we might have a look-see at that later. And yeah, here's the big one, the cartridge. Job done. Now, where is... Uh oh are you coming in this direction? No, no you're not. So now we just need to get back out again. So, uh, alright, wait for that little arrow over there to move off in that direction. Then we can just sneak out just like before. So here we go. And now, in fact, actually there's, there's an actual, um, yeah, there's a thing right here. So if I just actually step out then in this side, that should lead to me recharging the... Yes, now that's fully recharged. So now I can just walk through. So now we just step through over here. All right, just check everything else for anything good here while I'm passing through. And as soon as she walks away, check the locked container that she's actually inspecting. And there's that hatchet, by the way. You walk away. I mean, apparently they wouldn't actually see through the disguise regardless, but whatever. Uh, no one's looking in this direction right now. Quick hack. Open her up. And I'll be having... Oh! Okay, don't jump. That's very suspicious. Have a look. See all of that. Uh, help myself to... Hang on. Quick, quick. Bolt pistol. And that's just an energy hammer. That's not that good. Right, let's be on our way, actually. Now... Oh, hang on. There's something else there as well. That's... Right, prayer beads. Sure, we can give those to Max. I'm sure he'll love them. Right, now we can use this to just bypass customs entirely. Let's see how bad customs is, though, because I might be happy to just go in the legitimate way. We'll see. Also, hang on. That weapon I just picked up, was any good? Level 5 Bolter. So, 22 times 3, 122 DPS. Uses energy. No, energy is... Actually, in all fairness, I'm swimming in energy. Yeah, the game's very generous with ammo. Ammo is not a flipping problem, but... I'll try out this new gun first. It seems pretty damn badass. And yeah, I definitely don't need the shotgun because I've got a better version already. So happy to just... Actually, you know what? I'll sell that. 47's not nothing. In fact, there's a vending machine right here and... Hello. What sort of vending machine is this? Because that's food. What's this one? Aha! Guns! Including grenade launchers, heavy ammo, all of that good stuff. As well as some restricted stock. So yeah, until you're actually well liked enough by the faction in question, or your science and hacking is good enough... You're not allowed to actually access those. Ooh, and that power helmet. That's nice. I like that power helmet. 16 armor. If I get into a big scrap, yeah, put that on. Though I'll leave the grenade launchers for now because, yeah, they're pricey. And in all fairness, 84 damage, 141 DPS isn't even that high. Though I'm guessing, you know, it does have splash as well. Right, Mr. Wheeler. What are the terms for passing through customs? Because I'm guessing I want to avoid it. Identification, please. And, yep, yeah, here we go. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Okay, maybe I should have just bypassed customs, right. So, uh, yeah, how do we resolve this? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Okay, so, I was actually already planning to go and visit Udom, but makes sense we need to go and do this too. I wonder if you can just skip that if you never actually speak to this guy and just bypass customs. Maybe not. Maybe you just go and speak to Ada. She says, hey, by the way, I've been locked down. So, uh, yeah. Do we know uh, why? Well, actually, you know what? I think I do know why. It's because Udom was trying to manipulate Alex into giving him information about Phineas. Access to that information is above my pay grade. And I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it. But what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, 
You must have riled up someone important. Yeah, that's true, because the Mardets and the board are separate entities, and we just saw back with Felix, yeah, one doesn't actually have authority over the other. This is Mardet space. The board technically has no authority at all. For the board to have actually got my ship impounded, this must really, really matter, and probably have cost them quite a lot to do. Oh, never mind. Wheeler wants a favour. Go on then, Wheeler. I'll help you out. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the doctor, and medicine's not arriving. What's the shipment of, by the way? Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Aha, uh -huh. Sam. So... I've got a SAM unit, maybe we can do something with it, like, I don't know, put some scalpels on it, make it good at stabbing, that sort of a thing. And yeah, while I don't expect to get much out of this guy because he's being very diplomatic, tension between the board and Groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? Well, in all fairness, you did specifically say it, but whatever. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top in manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Right, so these guys are just basically skimming a little bit off the top of every shipment coming in and out of Halcyon, and obviously the board hates that. Gotcha. And you know what? I like the Mardettes. Keep flipping terrifying them, keep flipping pushing. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Okay, I'm really not keyed on Vicar Max at all. Just kind of sitting there saying, oh yeah, whether you allow it or not, that's up to you. No, no, it's not up to me. Because as was just established, they've got all the money. And the gunships, and the law on their side, and they just make up what the law is out here. So no, Max. No, it's not just up to me whether I allow it or not. Yeah, I'm feeling like Max might be told to go and wait in the ship while we bring Felix along, potentially. But here we go. Tell me more information about the wider universe, because so far we've been focusing overwhelmingly on Edgewater and Emerald Vale. So how far does the board's authority actually run? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Ah, I wonder if maybe, yeah, the board's doing something to stop any independent operations. Here we go, dig through his speech a bit more. There's two major companies we might need to run into on this ship, so uh, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. So Halcyon Holdings is the board, right? Are you pulling my leg? No, no, I'm new around here. Just treat me like a total idiot. You must be one of them long haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Okay, that makes sense. So, back on Earth, is there, like it says, like literally a boardroom where all these people get together and decide stuff? Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Okay, so that's the board. What about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Right, that sounds nice and creepy. I'll go and work for them. So that's all we need for him, and as it turns out... Yeah, customs doesn't really mean customs. Because I wasn't actually, you know, asked to 
make a customs declaration or check in my goods or anything like that. Also, do you mind me just being in your office because I'm going to reach a terminal now? Oh, that's nice. I'm already in the system. Unreliable, business unknown, impounded, Hawthorne ship, but no Hawthorne. Wonder what happened there. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Okay, Monarch, according to these guys, is a world full of monsters. I'm guessing that's a rumor they just put around to just, you know, keep people away. That security officer says, aha, that's precisely where I just was. Mods, no, don't get your gun out when walking in security. It's a terrible idea. Oh, flip me. Right, so, this will be the promenade then. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Oh, Max, I'm sorry. I'm already distracted. This is flipping beautiful. And we got ourselves a little advertising drones and... No, no, don't... Don't turn to face me. I need to actually read what you're selling. Rizzo's. Buy now! I don't care what Rizzo's is. I'm buying ten. Though, admittedly, if this just leads to here... And then... Uh, yeah, there's nothing up here. Where do those steps go? Hang on, I'm going up the steps anyway. Right, back up top of the office here. And then, yeah, blatantly obvious steps. So, get up top here. And I'm guessing over to here and this gets me to aha then i can just drop down within customs uh, on the way though may as well crack this open and help myself to uh, some ammo and whatnot i do constantly get the wrong button though because yes i want to actually like you know collect with a no it's x right then just clamber up to here jump across to here and then aha there's more here yet though Ooh. Electricity. Warning. You will die. Well, that I... Did you guys just fall off? I think they might have... No! Max made it at least, and... Okay. Parvati knows how to fly. I like her even better. Right, now watch out. I'm probably about to be electrocuted. But if I'm not electrocuted, then I do get myself... There we go. Free flipping grenade launcher. Spot on. And some stimulation. That's just what you want at the end of the day. There is, however, a skeleton back here, so... Okay, by the looks of it was crushed by falling rocks. Or maybe like squeezed between two containers, I'm not sure. Still, I think that's all we've got up here, so may as well just drop down onto... Aha, hang on, just drop down a bit carefully. Nope, broke my legs regardless. Now, back to being impressed by all of this. Oh my goodness, I love it. Right, so, 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 there is a lot that needs to be done. Let's start off with engineering, which I believe is at the rear close by to the engines. But, just in case, let's actually see. What have we got set right now, by the way? Empty man. Oh, sorry, I forgot to actually give you the cartridge. Here you go, and... What happened to your face? Oh, that's just a slightly aggressive shadow. Sorry. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Oh, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Yeah, world of monsters, dear oh dear. But yes indeed, you hesitated for a second. What aren't you telling me? Because I'm guessing you're actually secretly on their side. Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Yeah, this all seems very convenient, Max. There's something going on here. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Yeah, I'm replacing you with Felix in about 10 minutes, just FYI. And that is just enough to get me up to level 9 too. Beautiful. So at this point, yeah, I've got a bunch of skills that are coming up on 25 or 50 or a bit higher, especially in tech and weapons. So uh, I need to start planning ahead. Rather than just getting everything to 50, I'm just going to have a quick glance through all the skill lists and check if there's anything I want to start 
working my way towards. Okay, if I can get sneak to 100, that's actually sneak attacks ignoring 50% of target's armor, together with crouch move speed up. All of that very, very good indeed, together with, yeah, damage up at 80. So sneak, that I definitely want to get moving up in the right direction. Hacking auto mechanicals at hack 60 sounds nice, but beyond that, might be a bit unnecessary. Yeah, detection range and then hacking them at a distance. So honestly, hack at 60 is probably good enough. Oh, now here's fun. Medical 100, damage bonus versus humans, plus 20%, because you know just where to shoot them. Doesn't hurt, of course, that yeah, you also get to heal more and have longer duration from stuff in the inhaler too. Meanwhile, very similarly, yeah, Engineering 100, that's bonus damage to robots. And at 60, 20% chance when you repair something, it becomes pristine, increasing its value and durability, and I can start breaking stuff down to receive free mods. Now that's good. That's really good. And if you really want to play with companions, okay, Determination 100 is amazing. A companion kill restores 50% of their health bar. That is huge. Especially as once you get them up to Determination 100, yeah, the amount of companion health they've got will be massive. Okay, for the time being, I will take, yeah, Engineering up to 40 together with Medical, because a uh, third drug in the mixing slots together with, yeah, Breaking Down Stuff, 20% chance of a basic mod. That's worth doing. Other than that, I'm going to put it all into Stealth. I want that to be moving in the right direction, please. Especially as, uh, yeah, Restricted Items in Vending Machine at Hack 40, that's not bad at all. So, a bunch of shops here, rest and go, spacers, choice, medical bay, there's the lost hope. Let's start with engineering at the rear. So yeah, this is basically just a really long street we're on right now. Oh, hello, Ellie, where's an Ellie? Hello, Ellie. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Ooh, were you the person I was told to deliver a message to? I can't remember, but just in case you were, hello there, you're a named character. And also, you were in all the trailers, so you're important. I'm sorry, am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru, we could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Go on then, Ellie, tell me your life story and what needs sorting out, and I'll help you out with it. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Alright, so someone called Jessie is in. This is the medical bay, right? So uh, your friend is trapped in the hospital, not receiving visitors, but you're suspicious about it or something. No, hang on, not friend. Yeah, why are you checking up on her if you don't like her? You say that like it's weird. Okay, you know what? She's reacting like a normal, sensible human would to a video game protagonist. I am asking too many very personal questions. Look, it's just really nice of you, okay? It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're gonna give people the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Okay, so she's just being a bit mercenary, so I could look in on her if you wanted me to. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. I do have some decent speech, so maybe I'm allowed to just like, you know, walk in. Yeah, the door's open. You can just walk in. Hang on. Let's just quickly look at the terminal here because no one seems to care about you doing this. And here we go. Automatic SAM units that were supposed to be, yeah, doing medical stuff. Meaning as a result of the fact they don't have those, uh, blunt tools, uh, watered down meds, uh, long shifts, shaky hands. Not good. Not good at all. And yes, I wasn't supposed to be speaking to Ellie. I was supposed to be speaking to, uh, was it Wanda Dorset, who this email's from? Aha! The picture's starting to become clear here. I'm at my wits end coordinating with any authority outside a groundbreaker. The board won't dispatch a surgeon unless Junlei agrees to share a third of all docking revenue, and Spacer's Choice won't send supplies unless we make an exclusive deal to use their products. No thank you, I've seen enough shoddy needles breaking off in patients' arms. So yeah, that's why this place is in trouble, with medical shortages and technical difficulties. Spacer's Choice won't send personnel or replacement parts or whatever until they get a better deal for more control over the groundbreaker, whose independence they're not keen on. Gotcha. Right, so key thing for me while I'm here, maintain the groundbreaker's independence as far as possible by fixing every single problem single-handedly. 
So, Doctor, I'd like to see Jesse, whose surname I've also figured out, with magic. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Okay, so have you spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Okay, so not much we can get out of him, but I'll gladly, you know, do some buying and selling while I'm here. Not without dispensation from Chief June Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Right, so Jun Lei is both chief engineer and also generally, yeah, running the place because, you know, it's a ship, so the person who can keep it running is very important. Makes sense. Well, okay, if I just step through this door, does anyone actually... No one seems to care, but, hang on, you are Wanda Dorset. Let's see what you've got to say. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Yeah, you're after, like, Medical Sam's. I heard about this, and uh, Wheeler said the shipment, sadly, is not coming in anytime soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. All right, let's just fill in the details here. So, Erion, I'm guessing, is a captain you commissioned to deliver these modified Sam's. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Okay, and as for the robots themselves, I'm guessing you want these because, yeah, as we've been reading and hearing, you've been having problems with companies refusing to send staff unless you do exclusivity deals with them. If you had the robots, then you wouldn't need the staff anymore, then you'd be much more able to stay independent. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Yeah, so the robots would take the pressure off a little bit. Right, well, how about I go and find him for ya? I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Alright, I saw that place on the map, so we will indeed head over there, but can't just for the time being. My ship's a little bit on the impounded side, sorry. And here we go. Restricted access. And I don't have the right card to get in here. Operations. Uh, quarantine. Alright. Anything else? Like, say, air vents or whatnot. No. Nothing of that nature. But Mardets are allowed in here, right? Yes, Mardets are allowed in here. And it's alright game. I've already got one of those. So I can just, yeah, walk straight through. Whether it'll really work that well. Yeah, if I just... I'm just standing right here. You the new hire? Yep, they seem pretty cool with me. So as long as you're not like running or jumping or being an idiot, you're pretty fine. So, all right, now you're over there. Let's check the quarantine area if we can. So just straight through here. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? You know what, Parvati? You're making a very good point here, but please, please walk away. Parvati, please walk through the door so we can close it behind us. All right, that's that's the important thing here. So, quarantine. Probably shouldn't be opening these doors. Bad idea, really, but I uh, need to see what's going on here. Empty, empty, and aha. Someone is... No, that's Jun Lei. Right, hang on. Have I got a new quest for this, by the way? Yes, here we go. Suspiciously long time. Worst contacts, and I'm guessing... Here we go. Hello there, Jesse. So you're trapped in quarantine for the minute. For the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? All right, so can't say anything other than Ellie sent me. Let's see what's going on here. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine. 
fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Okay, so this is not good, and I could intimidate her to actually open the door, potentially. I mean, this all sounds very fake. That sounds very fake indeed. She's faking this for some reason, but why? Let's see if I can just, yeah, force her to open the door. Should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Alright, so, make my way inside, and, uh, hello there. Who are you and what's the deal with the two of you? The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Okay, that makes sense, but why not just tell Ellie that? That doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Yeah, what got you into trouble? Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. I do work for the board, actually. No, I'm not extorting her. No, 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 no. So, uh, tell me about what's going on here, Jesse. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Okay, in which case, why is the board following you, and why are you hiding inside quarantine right now? Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Okay, so we've got a bit of a Titanic thing going on here, except of course, yeah, if Phineas is to be believed, I'm the only person that's ever got off the Hope. Did you actually steal it, and in which case, where from? Because where did it come from? If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Aha, I see. So the diamond was either a fake, or it being frozen if it was actually real and it did actually come from the hope. Yeah, not great. Okay, so I am willing to help you out, assuming that doesn't mean just giving you a pile of money, because I'm not doing that. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. So yeah, her and Ellie, we don't know what the deal is yet, but we do know that she saved Ellie's life at one point, and now Ellie just doesn't want that debt hanging over her, so she wants to make amends and get even. Gotcha. Right, nice easy pile of XP there. Small problem, mind. I'm now out of, uh, yeah, the ability to fool the guards. On the plus side, I can hack this door right here. So I'll help myself to uh, a giant pile of free stuff. Luckily, the guard doesn't seem to understand what a window is. And they did say, yeah, you can, like, talk your way out of trouble. So, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, go, 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 go. Out. And now... Okay, they really don't care about your companions, but oh, no, no, guys, guys, get out of the restricted section, out of the restricted section, once you got the operation room, by the way, as soon as she walks away, we can go in with a fresh bar, so now in here, in we go, that's probably a corpse right there, all right, don't move unless you have to, because we need to, one, close this door, so no witnesses, two, Open that. Don't have the magical key card, but that's fine. Three. I really shouldn't be robbing this hospital. I really should not be doing that. Although, hello over there. There appears to be a... Aha! 
Who wants We've to got play ourselves a possible? back exit. No one? Now, what yeah. precisely is this? Is this a back way into the hospital? It's a back way into something. Right, we've got into the vents. Oh, I'm glad there's always events that are easily crawlable through. Seriously, if you're ever developing a spaceship in the future, any of you, make sure the vents aren't big enough for people. Because they don't need to be. All that needs to get through them is air. This big, excessive. Okay, we got ourselves a big old pile of mattresses over here. So, what's this? Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story. No one's listening. To them, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault Captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full-timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. As far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. So, okay. Some people just literally sleep behind the scenes. In little side rooms behind air vents or whatever. Though, can I get up there? No, there's nothing up there. Yeah, I think this might just be... Nope, hang on, that's not a dead end. There's totally more over there. Keep on keeping on, grabbing all of this stuff. Let's see where this is going to take me. Are you hostile, by the way? No, you're fine. You're just a little tiny sprat. You're adorable, in fact. In fact, where the bloody hell am I? Because there's people here now. Aha! Uh -huh. I've accidentally looped round to, presumably, yeah, the shop that was first on the right. Whatever that is, precisely. So, yeah, where I am right now is rest and go. So, this is like, yeah, the little hotelish area. Gotcha. Milo, tell me about this fine establishment you're presumably running. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. You know what? It's a better slogan than Spacer's Choice has, so well done. Right, nothing special from him. He's just basically, yeah, hiring out these little units that appear to be, I don't know, maybe disused uh, shipping containers. By the way, do you mind me coming in here? Because I kind of want to be in here. Because there's... Ooh. No. No amount of skill with lockpick is sorting that out. I need a key card for that one. Gotcha. Same here. Same here. Not that one, though. Fine. Okay. You guys close that... Please close the door behind you. I'm doing crime. But yeah, the thing is, even if you don't want to steal anything, you may as well open these things because simple ones don't actually cost anything. But, oh blimey. That's a good amount of armor together with plus three inspiration. Yeah, I'll be having that. In fact, you know what? I'm having all of that. That's all pretty good. But yeah, even if you don't actually want to steal anything, it's worth just opening them anyway because using your lockpick skill gives you a surprisingly decent amount of XP. Okay, another mention of that McCred. I'm actually in the rest and go or go and rest or rest and go. It was rest and go. Yes, another mention of him. If you hack into the guest terminals in the room with hack of, I think it was 25. Mr. McCred, we've reviewed your proposal for the 10th time and still do not agree that Galactic Mushroom is an acceptable flavour for a Rizzo beverage, even if we were to pursue the idea the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. So, uh, McCred is either slightly insane or a bit of a troublemaker. Right, so the ones upstairs, no named characters. But downstairs, uh, we do have a couple here. So, uh, hello, you are Ephraim. Right, you're named, but you won't speak to me, meaning you're about to come up in some form of quest later. Gotcha. Remember, he's there. This one, however, here's the biggie. So, you guys are apparently important. Hello there, Gladys. I'm supposed to speak to you. Please tell me Phineas isn't walking me into a trap here. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Okay, you can drop the act. I know who you are and I'm here for a reason. So, uh, yeah, Phineas. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. 
Okay, so she might be willing to... Oh, bloody hell, 10,000. Okay, she's not kidding. I've spent a lot of money on tinkering with my weapons, to be honest. So, either you can pay up front, or she'll basically, yeah, let you do a job for it, because she'll pay you, use the money to pay her. So, effectively, I can do a job to get it instead. So, any chance of a discount? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Oh dear. Right, good. She's only joking, it's still 10,000. Tell me about this opportunity. I'm guessing someone needs to end up dead or something. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Oh no, no qualms whatsoever. Like the Groundbreaker? Like money? Don't like the board? Am I going to murder the board? Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Roseway. That's where I need to go for my acid sprayer for my SAM unit. Say no more, I'm on board. Though, go on then. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Aha. Uh -huh. So one company wants to keep something quiet all for itself, so it puts out fake information about monsters, abandoned, unsafe, diddly diddly d and just quietly profits under the table. So the board isn't necessarily going to be entirely unified. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. You know what, Gladys? Me and you can be friends. Right, so all in all, I've only got about 3,500 bits right now. And yeah, as for her, she's selling, ooh, unique variants. So, basic pistol, but comes with burst fire and also does corrosive damage. That does sound fun, and that is very high DPS. But, maybe don't spend money on that, because one, need to save money, and two, don't have enough money. I will say though, she is selling, yeah, archive cartridge here, which I can read on the captain's terminal. Oh, go on then, that might open up a new location or something, so yeah, we'll be buying that. And another battered datapad here, so if I buy this, I might be able to find clues to a forgotten cache of goods that you can go on to sell. You know what? We'll take the flippin' gamble. So, security report at the Lost Hope, the bar over the street. So Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in Spectrum Red, which I believe is a vodka. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with an engineer. We tossed the rung leech back down to the bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. Aha! I've seen this on my own terminal too. Uh, if this is some new Hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sunita. So, what else do we actually know about this here? Locked himself into the repair bay off of docking slip 13, refused to come out. Okay, weapons, chaotic beauty. Alright, it's a weapon more than anything else, but I'm willing to have a little bit of a loopsy about this. So, docking bay 13, back the way I came, please. Here we go, I've got a marker for it because now I've got information about it. I haven't specifically flagged this by the way, but the way quest markers work in this game is very, very clever indeed, which is you don't have a quest marker 
until you've actually found information that would reasonably give you one. So, uh, this quest marker didn't used to be here, based on the information I had just from reading the terminal back on the ship, but now I've found that second bit of information, I've actually got, yeah, a marker telling me to uh, go somewhere. So, this is just where, yeah, a couple of deckhands are sleeping. Let's check the map here. I feel like I'm not quite in the right place. So, okay. Need to go through here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back around. Then, how do I get through this area? That's barred from the inside. Okay. I'll take all this, by the way. Alright, no way up top. How do I get through if that's going to be there? But then again, hang on. There's clearly something going on there, and there might be... No. Up top. Nothing I can do there. Feels like there's some form of secret way in through this room. Something. Aha. That's some form of little vent or something. How do I get up there, though? Because, yeah, there's no, there's no clambering in this game, so I need to find a way to actually get up top with the steps. That'd be how we do it. Don't mind me. Just passing through an air vent. Problem is... I'm probably not really supposed to be here, am I? Okay. Who's here? And how much are they robots? Alright, well, we know what we're doing now, then. Prepare the shotgun. Also, there's an outlaw squad leader here. That's surprising. Right. I'm guessing these people aren't supposed to be here. So... Killing them's legit, right? I mean, that's that's allowed. I think that's allowed. That's probably allowed. He doesn't see me. Uh-oh. Okay, I've decided we're going to go for... Uh, yeah, okay, we're, we're just going to go for um, a shot against you at this point. I feel like, actually, this is this is legit, right? There we go. Right, okay. Uh, shotgun. There's robots incoming now. Prepare for the robots and... No, you're not, but you're still a squishy human. Right, where are the robots? Where are the robots? Where are the robots? This is probably fine. They're at some range for some reason. Okay, and go. And line them up. Boom, that'll do. You're a scrap mechanical. And are you dead? You are now. Right, okay. Enemy killed. Guys, distract them for a second, please. I'm going around with the shotgun. And when I say going around with the shotgun, I'm not actually. But... Okay, I'm just going to start looping around. You guys keep him busy. All right, this is... Uh, oh, he's he's tough. He's he's pretty tough. I'm going to get around the back of him. And then we're just going to activate slow-mo. And boom. There we go. Stagger. And dead. Maybe he had a bit of a weak point around the back. Dead anyway. Okay. So watch out for these big lads. Uh, they've got a bit of health on them. Gotcha. I really hope these were criminals. Who weren't supposed to be here, by the way. Because this feels like, you know, a proper, legitimate docking bay. I may have just killed some people. Well, I have. But, like, you know, people who didn't deserve it. Small problem, though. That is a well-locked door right there. 48 out of 60. Okay. That we can potentially... No, we can't sort that out. Because uh, that's tech skills. Now, I can get tech skills up by 5. And then up by another 5. But that still leaves me too short. Okay. I just need two more from somewhere. And speak of the flipping devil, hack is a function of intelligence, intelligence is a function of mind. And mind, I can boost with, yeah, the right foods. Here we go. If I just have a nice refreshing cup of tea right now, then that should boost me up to 50. Yes, 53. And that means if now I just slap on the right armor, so, yeah, mechanics overall. So I'm going to be now putting on Parvati's clothes. I hope that's not weird. And my old hibernation helmet. That should mean we can now... What do you mean that doesn't... That's tech skills. Oh, darn it. They're not tech skills. They're stealth skills. Right, okay. I might have something for that too. I can't remember. No, no, I don't. I used to, but I totally sold them because I thought they weren't that useful. Okay, well, they were super cheap, so open up this place. We can now get in nice and easy. I just need to get myself some basic cheap armor that gives me plus to stealth, and uh, where did I sell it? If I knew where it was, I might be able to buy it back, but I can't remember where I bloody sold it. 
Okay, I've checked the shops and sadly there's nothing super cheap there. There was one thing that was plus five, but it was like 400 bits and that wouldn't be enough. I need a helmet and a bit of armor. And uh, hello over there. You're absolutely terrifying. Oh, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Okay, this man may have drunk slightly too much Kool-Aid. So, uh, yeah, Edgewater. Do you know anything about that? Heard of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. Oh, yeah. Very, very much too much Kool-Aid over here. So, uh, maybe don't go looking into it now. If you did, that'd be good, actually. They could use the help. And if you do, please don't mention us. I'd have to go over my contract, but I don't think I'm allowed to leave Groundbreaker. Or this stall. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. Okay, Martin is truly flipping terrifying, and uh, yeah, tell me about the hats. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. And, uh, yeah, are you actually, um, okay, Martin? Because you don't sound that great. Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. Oh, this game is indeed slightly terrifying. Any chance you're willing to take the hat off? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. Yeah, let's get into more practical questions here. How do you brush your teeth, my good man? Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Right, so he doesn't actually, you know, answer questions. He just answers questions that are vaguely similar to the questions you actually asked that relate to products he may or may not be selling. Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. If I just keep asking questions, eventually will I get through to him? Yeah, sleep. Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse Mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold, guaranteed. Okay, so yep, yep, he's just not answering any questions here. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today, and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school, only to make him wear this hat. Ooh, we actually just got through to him there for a second. Even if my contract didn't forbid it. I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. Let's just do some shopping here. This is becoming terrifying. Also, could I buy your hats? You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. I mean... Why, anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. Oh, Martin, I love you. And now we've gone down both of those routes. Martin, are you okay? I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, 
It may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. Okay, so that's truly horrifying. Let's just actually, you know, do some trade to cheer him up a bit. Oh my goodness, he is actually selling the hats. But yeah, they actually cost a fair bit of money. They make your lie go up by five, which isn't spectacular, and the armor's not great. So after all that, Martin, I'm not actually, um, buying anything. Sorry about that. Okay, that's me done with this whole side of the street. So I'm going to take this opportunity to, yeah, go and speak to the engineer. Because we need to do a little bit of questing in order to actually, you know, level up so we can get into that weird weapon, whatever that is precisely. Then again, hang on, sublight. No, ignore sublight. Stay focused on, yes, what's her face, Jun Lei. Ooh, um, so I just opened this door to a side room and I can't help but notice there's, um... An Auntie Cleo worker here who appears to have done a lot of bleeding out in this side room. Check the book here. So, Auntie Cleo Food Service Auto Mechanical Repair Manual. So, ah. Possibly he wasn't murdered for being corporate. Possibly he was murdered by a robot. Here we go. Anti tampering subsystems which trigger a self defense mechanism. Self defense supersedes any pacifist function. So, yeah, they were attempting to modify a robot and it's proprietary, meaning it's very, very happy to murder you if you try. And this will be the robot in question. Hello, Greasy! Party greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen. A home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Well, I do enjoy protein. Also, there's a dead body in your kitchen. This unit would clarify. There is a dead mechanic in the kitchen. User error in the maintenance of this unit's cutlery engaged several systems at once. The slicer, the grinder, the tenderizer. That sounds like a pretty nasty bug. No, that's not a bug. That's definitely a feature. And do you actually plan to maybe, I don't know, mop up the blood at some point? This unit is not designated for cleaning duties and cannot be compelled to accept another unit's responsibilities. You know what? Fair enough. Maybe I'll just leave you be. All right. As I was saying, Jun Lei. Let's, oh blimey, yep, that heat haze. So heat, definitely a real problem here. XF411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Pavati, I love you. I love you so much. Let's go and have a chat to Junlei, see what we can do to help out here. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Name's John. Nice place you've got here, chief. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. No problems whatsoever, though I'm not going to deny a few things might go missing. Not too much, but you know, a bit. And I'm very happy to keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Actually, originally, I was coming along because my friend here, Parvati, wants to meet you. But now I've heard you've got a heat problem, very happy to help you fix that. So, yeah, just passing through, none of your business. Do you want to tell her I'm going to Monarch? Yes, because she's not corporate, so I feel like I can trust her. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Alright, she seems nice and open-minded and willing to welcome me, which is absolutely lovely. So, where do we want to start here? Yeah, let's actually just start with getting the lay of the land before we bring Parvati into this. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And in this case, yeah, 
pretty much through blackmail. They're not giving you parts or personnel till you capitulate. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. And yes indeed, I'm guessing it's a bit stressful being in command right now. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Of course, this was a colony ship, it wasn't supposed to be continually used after things were settled down, but you guys have just tried to keep it going anyway, even though, yeah, the board doesn't really build things to last, everything's going to be cheap and rubbish, gotcha. And uh, Parvati, no, don't introduce Parvati like that, that's a lot of bloody pressure on her shoulders. And uh, yeah, ship, family business, do you mean like literally family or just people who you've decided to make family? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. We must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Oh, they seem to be getting on already. That's absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, condolences, of course. Let's be polite. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Oh, this is all lovely. And no, 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 not self-destruct mechanism. And yeah, you seem plenty young, so why are you worried about succession already? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Okay, I feel like this is potentially not going to be the right thing to say because it's kind of, you know... Dropping Parvati into a very big position here, but we'll give it a go. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Okay, that works pretty well, all things considered, and we're not asking about self-destruct, no. So, Parvati, go ahead if you want to. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Aww, these two are adorable. She's being very supportive of Parvati. That's absolutely lovely. So, I'm just going to stay out of it. This is now between those two. I'm not getting involved. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Oh, she's being a very supportive teacher. This is absolutely lovely. And again, do not say anything. Leave this up to her. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Oh, bless Pavati. And yes, as some of you may have already noticed, she is voiced by uh, Ashley Birch. Same person who did Chloe in Life is Strange and Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2. And you know what? I'm just going to very quietly say to Pavati, good work. Because she handled that all by herself, even though she was really nervous. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Actually, yes, the heat thing. I might be able to help you out with that. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. And okay, I'm sure your capable staff can stay ahead of the problem. Why haven't you just fixed that then? If you know what the problem is, why not fix it? Only the board has access to new parts. 
and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. So yeah, as I suspected, they're basically blackmailing you by not sending you the parts. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. And with intelligence, you need to contract to work this out. I am most definitely available, but then again, then I'm offering to be paid. I'm willing to offer to work for free because Junlei is lovely. I... We'd be grateful for your assistance. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Okay, so back bays. I think I saw an elevator just outside your area leading there. I'm guessing the back bays are trouble, otherwise you would have gone there yourself. Like critters or something, I'm not sure. Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Aha, the bad bit of the ship that the company isn't interested in. Gotcha. Any alternatives, by the way, or is that my only solution? You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Okay, so in theory I might be able to talk Udom into helping her out, but... I'd rather not have to make the trade, I'd rather sort it out for myself. Just so I know what I'm walking into here, am I the first person who's been down there or have other people gone and failed to return? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Okay, none taken, try and rescue those lot if I can. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Okay, I love Junlei. Junlei is flipping great. Now, is this definitely going to end in violence, or is there any chance whatsoever we can talk this out with the guys down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Okay, so maybe we can't talk to them, but we might be able to, say, sneak around them. We'll see. Well, in either case, we're going into probably combat right now, so let's get the armor back on, including my brand new vented Mark III helmet. Be flipping beautiful. Doesn't really go with the armor, to be honest, but it'll do. Here we go. So back out here, and as I thought, elevator to take me down to the back base. Okay, here's McCred. So, let's see if me and you can talk things out. And as we're about to talk things out, you're not shooting me on sight. Let's get set up for that. There we go. I've put on my talking hat. So I want to talk, McCred. All right, let's see what we can do here. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So he's willing to accept people into his crew, but no one who challenges his authority. However, with Persuader 40 and Intimidator 40, and I've got both apparently, yeah, we can actually talk him at the flip down. So put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. No, 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 no. If he's going to run a big badass group where everyone's looking to him for leadership, I'm going to humiliate him by intimidating him in front of all of them. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. And I don't want trouble, I just want the parts. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Ah, I see. The engineer. We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells. Making this broken angel fly again. Okay, 
Um, not sure that really answers the question I asked you, but I'm not 100% sure you guys are with it. Can I just go and grab the part without trouble? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. I'm feeling like maybe we should just murder him and uh, lie. These parts are leaking deadly toxins. Uh, I'll just come back after your debts. Okay, so lie of 40 would actually get him to shut the flip up. All right, let's not attack him just yet. I'm not giving him money, by the way. I'll be right flipping back. Right, so my lie is only 32 right now. That is not spectacular. That is not spectacular at all. What does this place look like, by the way? How big is it? Not very big at all. It's a very small area. So yeah, just this hallway, one room at the end, and then stairs leading up to where my actual target is. I could just give him the money. Could just give him some money right now. And in all fairness, I'm going to make some of that money back by robbing him. Because, oh. Okay, so we're not rescuing the engineer. Got it. In fact, could I actually just get away with doing some... Uh-oh. Hey, I saw that. Okay, um, guys, I'm feeling like this is about to go wrong. What do you think you're doing? So this is what happens uh, if you get spotted. And, uh, right, I can just lie to him and say, you definitely didn't see what you just thought you saw. All right, fine. Get out of here. Right, okay. So I can just lie to people if I get caught in an area I'm not supposed to be in. I know where I'm needing to be going. Yeah, just basically up the stairs over here. I don't want to start a fight with these guys for no reason. And getting my lie up is going to be tricky. Very tricky. You know what? I'm going to give him the money. Except, hang on. I saw your letter from Rizzo. Galactic mushroom sounds like a great beverage. Let's see if we can flatter him. They rejected it again, didn't they? I thought I could take my fungus garden and go corporate, you know? Damn. Well, maybe I'm better off. Uh, Rizzo's wouldn't know innovation if it bit him on their backsides. You're a natural inventor, Mr. McGred. Don't let him get you down. Kind of you to say, engine gal. You're a lighter in dark times. And uh, any chance now we've been nice to you, you're willing to let us have the parts for free? And you know what? Dig into his background a bit more. Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Alright, so yeah, very similar thing happened to me. Let's build a rapport here. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. And okay, that's all we can get out of him. Back to the parts. Everything has a price. How much are you willing to pay? And 688 bits. Alright, I'm doing it. That's fine. It's not even that much. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Uh, don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? The principles of the universe dictate that sometimes we must appease others to keep from being roasted alive. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. All right, I'm happy to do it this way. It's fine. We were specifically told by Jun Lei she would prefer it if we didn't murder everybody. And yeah, just grab everything we can off the various robots here. We can make some of this money back immediately. So we need to go up those stairs there. But yeah, there's also... Ooh, hello there, robots. Right, you would have been a bit of a challenge. Those robots are a bit on the tough side. Yeah, go through to the back here. It's so cozy. Oh, Parvati, you don't need to be polite. It's fine. They're terrifying raider swords. It's not a problem. Still, I will gladly... I think we can get away with this. I'll take the plasma rifle and the pocket watch. This area seems to be unguarded, so we'll just be helping ourselves to all this lot. Hang on, just make sure we're... Yeah, we're fine. So just have all of this. Now, there's also, yeah, a little basement down here that seems to be not where the things are, so... Outlaw Striker, together with uh, 
Okay, just some bit cartridges and whatnot. Don't steal any of that. And, ooh, steal PT. I don't know what PT is, but you don't want me to steal it. And, uh, yeah, if you get seen doing lockpicking, that's bad. So, uh, you know what? No trouble. Leave him alone. Whatever a PT is, I guess. Hang on, I need to figure out what PT actually... What are you? Are you a... A weapon? A mask? I don't know. Whatever PT is, we're just going to leave PT here for now. Maybe we'll come back for PT later if PT turns out to be important. So, first this side, because this is the wrong way. Because in video games, you always go the wrong way first. Oh yeah, this might have been a tricky fight. Because they also had squad leaders and whatnot. So, and snipers on the high ground. Probably I made a sensible choice here, yes. Also, we got some in here. Junior Mycologist Log. So yeah, study of mushrooms. And very clever, this guy deliberately grew strains of mushrooms that actually calmed McCred down to make sure he didn't do anything stupid with his flamethrower. Very smart. Now get ready to fight in case they choose to betray us. Are we good? No? Seems like they're actually willing to honour their word. And, as requested, we did it without anybody ending up dead. Not a single flipping person. Walk in, grab the parts, walk out. Alright, John Lay, here you flipping go. You've returned, and in one piece. Colour me impressed. I am very sorry, but your engineer was very dead. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. What's a mantipillar? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Alright, well, I guess we just need to take care of that then. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Oh, bless Parvati so much. And bless Jun Lei and bless level 10 because that's what we are right now. Okay, let's think this through really, really carefully here. You know what? I'm just going to put this into stealth. Because I do want that hacking and lock picking up. That's very, very useful indeed. So let's just get that moving in the right direction right now. Because, yeah, if I just put everything here, then I can most definitely open that door to the mysterious hammer thing. And in all fairness, Sneaker 40 is nice anyway, because, yeah, at that point, the NPCs don't see me as much. Sneak attack damage is going up. That is very, very welcome. Ah, yes, and perks. My final perk, I believe, in Tier 1. So, okay, what's the last thing I want here? I'll take sprint speed up, because, yeah, because I kind of do everything, I do spend a lot of time running backwards and forwards. So, go on, I'll take a bit of that. And then, next time, Tier 2. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, you can really feel that. That's a nice increase right there. And bear in mind, of course, on I can say Fallout 4, I'm not draining my tactical time dilation thing by sprinting. Sprinting is just basically a thing you can do forever. So I can just move around to, oh, this feels nice. That feels beautiful right there. Now, one quick cup of tea here. There we go. Cup of... No, don't put the tea into the inhaler. Though maybe do that. That sounds hilarious. You know what? Let's just actually fit, yeah, the tuna into the inhaler. So every time I do that, I get a bit of extra health. That probably doesn't hurt. But no, instead, drink the tea. And now, boom. Gonna cost me five things to do, but doesn't matter. I get myself a giant hammer or something. Here we go. Prismatic hammer. So, knock down two-handed melee. Not great, to be honest, because we know what I should have expected it to be, Hammer. I was hoping for, like, you know, a really powerful heavy gun that was called Hammer for dramatic effect. But no, it's literally a hammer. And apparently, Parvati could use it. So, yeah, 72 damage, 76. She's got herself 62 plasma with 133. And also, that's more effective... Why would I use that? Well, knock down versus burn. Yeah, you know what? Give it a go. I'm going to give her a massive hammer. We'll see how it works out for her. Which means the plasma sword can go over to max. Lovely. Here we go. 
I've been seeing things called N-rays mentioned in various terminals, but I wasn't sure what they actually were. So, okay. The hammer's elemental properties are shock, plasma, corrosion, and radiation. So possibly it has more bonus effects than I'm expecting. And an N-ray, I suppose, is a type of radiation. Alright, plasma weaponry out, because I'm going up against biological entities, so you want plasma against those guys. Let's see what we flippin' got down in the tunnels. And I'm here in the trouble already. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. So, take those guys out. 352. How's that? Is that enough to kill them? Are they dead? There's, oh, there's a mantis swarm. Does anyone know what a mantis swarm is? Oh, it seems bad. Somebody shoot it. What, what the bloody hell is that? I'm going to keep shooting guns dead. Okay, actually, if it's a swarm, logically, shotguns, right? Never mind, it's already dead. And we got more over there. No, no, no. Go over to that. Hello over there. How are you guys doing? Yep, big headshot will take care of that. Max, where are you going? Right, Max has decided to go and be a big damn hero. And this, yep, I see ya. Oh, I better see ya. You're actually moving around pretty fast. And no. No, you don't. Goodbye. Right, okay. One more over there. We good? Okay, great big... How did you get back over here? Ooh, those things are gross. Right, so yeah, great big mutated mantis caterpillar things. Gotcha. We're having some armor parts too. Uh, no loot on them though, as far as I can tell. Right, let's just get round to the end here and wait for her call. Might be one or two enemies more yet though. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanical did not think he killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are Right, used. robots, gotcha. So they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go over to... No, no. Go over to the sniper. We can get one of them here. Boom. And boom. And you are blind. One more. Okay, guys, just fire up there. Do what you can. That one's almost done. Boom. Job done. Right, when I say job done, fair few more of them yet, actually. Keep your eyes open. Need to go in this direction. Help myself to all sorts of bits and pieces. Right, robots means electro shotgun. So that side's barred. Fine, we're going around the long way. I mean, if we can sneak past them... That'd be great. She did say, try and sneak past them. So we will try and do that. Just not sure how viable that's going to be. They seem, you know, kind of directly in the way. Is that a... Oh. Yeah, they're very perceptive, even though my sneak is not bad. And actually, you know what? Hang on. Special abilities. Uh, would some of you like to... Yes! Parvati's got a massive doom hammer that staggers them and is very effective against robots. Well, that's... Oh, bloody hell, now we're being shot. No, no, that's that's good. Just go with the hammer. Hit him with the hammer. It's a good hammer. And no, now you're getting out of pistol. Parvati, are you okay? Because you're a bit wibbly. Nope, she seems to be fine. Also, Max is dead. Does anyone know when and why that happened? Ah, he was shot through the floor. Got it. All right, but we can actually fire back through the floor ourselves. Uh, so just keep your eye out for the right moments here. Hello over there. I see you. How are we doing? We're doing some damage. Uh, the shock is not bad there. Boom. Never mind. Is that enough to kill you? Yep, dead. 1,000 XP. You get a lot of XP for fighting, by the way. It's really generous. Right, I think that's all of them dead. Yeah, Max is back in his feet. So must be. Alright, cycle droplet pumps. We'll do so in a second. Just looting. Here we go. Cycle droplet pumps as requested. Alright, job flipping done. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts. But you're alright. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. All right, we've got ourselves an inn. These guys like me, and I just picked up Welder's goggles. Beautiful.
Oh my, engineering plus 15. Now that, that's flipping useful. Only 0.1 weight too. So basically just keep these, put them on whenever I need to do a bit of engineering. Marvellous. And here's the Edna in question. What can I do for you? You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And go on then, what's the problem? Why are we running out of time, diddly diddly day? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Okay, how many things do you need, where are they, and where do I deliver them? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? Stop being a dick, Max. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Alright, so, yeah, I could go over to the station, presuming that's just a little, like, mini dungeon floating in space. You know, if my ship hadn't been flipping impounded guys. Ah, yes, and level 10 means my companions get their tier 2 perks. Love it. So, Parvati, range damage up or armor up, melee damage up or 10% chance to extract mods in the field. Okay. That does sound rather on the useful side, but I'm kind of using Parvati as a bit of a tank right now, so I'm going to give it the extra armor. That's probably a good idea. So that's fine right there. And as for you, Vicar Max, in the few seconds before I replace you with Felix, yeah, just take some extra damage. That's fine. Right, good progress in engineering there, and I would say that is enough for now. But next time, it's time to go and have a chat to the corporations face to face. We need to speak to Edom because. Uh, I suspect he's going to have some stories to tell us about Phineas that might just change my understanding of the game's plot. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... A... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.